Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. So we're going to be talking about the next season. This has been requested on one of my live streams, so if you have any ideas for theory videos or anything like that, please be sure to leave it in the comments down below or on my community page or on Twitter and Instagram at the DCTV show is where you can send them in. But today we're going to be talking about the upgrades and ideas that I think should happen in Season 5. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any Supergirl videos over the summer. So it would mean a hell of a lot if you could leave a like because if you didn't know, if you leave a like, it actually makes it more likely to come up on recommended for other people so more people watch the videos and I'm really trying to push for 100k. We're just about 5,000 off from 100k so I am really, really getting close and I'm really excited because I have a load of stuff planned and hopefully we can make it by the end of the summer I would hope so but obviously the summer is a bit slow because there's less news to talk about but if you could leave a like that would really mean a lot also share it to your friends in real life if they watch the shows be like yo check out the DC TV show or if you share it online on social media that would mean so much to me so thank you all for your support it's amazing so let's talk about this so we got a bunch of different things so I want to touch on some suit upgrades that I think will happen or maybe shouldn't happen and then talking about the villain like the idea of who's going to be the first half villain who's going to be the second half or is it going to be one long villain and then talk about a bit of the story next season and then also talk about some returning characters and some returning storylines I think they should do because we've got the 100th episode next season also we've got crisis on infinite earth so expect some returning characters so let's talk about the costumes first so Supergirl has had basically the same costumes obviously with little tweaks here and there that you can barely notice maybe just like pigment colors a bit of stitching here and there it's barely noticeable but I'm personally fine if we keep this suit until the end of time because I think this is the best Arrowverse suit out of all of them it is so nice it is great it never never is bad and the only thing I would say is get rid of the Power Ranger suit that we had this season it was really cool in the finale but earlier in the season I wasn't a big fan of it and I think it's a bit of a cop out to hide the fact that there is a stunt double inside the suit. Obviously it made sense at the start of the season because Melissa was on Broadway. 100% support that because she was brilliant. I literally went to New York to watch her on Broadway so 100% support that at the start of the season. I just thought maybe the suit could have been a bit better so I wouldn't be that bothered if they got rid of the suit. I think that would be a good idea and... I don't know, maybe they can do some upgrades, I know in the comics, you know, sometimes she doesn't have the skirt, sometimes she has a skirt, and obviously Red Daughter didn't have a skirt, so that was different, that was uh, actually called out by Red Daughter at the end of the season, but personally I like the skirt, I think it really goes with the suit, and so I'm very happy with the Supergirl suit, I wouldn't change it to be honest. Uh, Martian Manhunter, again, I wouldn't change the suit, I think the suit is really good, and maybe they upgrade it so it's maybe a bit more bright it's a bit more like the comic books because you know this season is going to be very much so at least in the first part like centered on martian manhunter because his brother has arrived and i think maybe what they need to do is brighten the colors a bit on martian manhunter suit because it's actually very dull compared to when we first saw the suit like way back in season one so maybe brighten the colors up make it a bit more comic book like um, maybe that's what I would do and in regards to Brainiac 5 I would say yeah he definitely needs an upgrade I think his suit is just very basic it's just you know a leather suit he barely ever wears it he wore it a couple of times this season he's barely got his makeup on him anymore I think you know he should probably stay away from the makeup I don't think the makeup's the best and I think he definitely needs a suit upgrade, maybe more along the lines of his ancestors, like how the other Brainiac sort of dressed up in the comics. So, yeah, I think he needs an upgrade. Dreamer, I don't think she needs an upgrade. I think her suit is really good. I was really, really impressed with it this season. I think it's very nice, a great color scheme. The blue and white is a perfect match for one another. So, I really like that. So, 
The last one is Alex's suit. I really do think they need to change Alex's suit because all season long, apart from the last few episodes, since she's been doing a lot more personal stuff, she's just been in that suit the whole season. I think it's just been used way too many times and I think she needs to have a new spice up of the suit. I think it needs to be changed a bit, even though I really, really do like it. I just think she's worn it so many times we're just sort of numb to it because she's wearing it all the time especially in the first part of the season so i would say change it up make something new make it interesting maybe even make her own sort of emblem like maybe the house of l symbol i don't know would be pretty cool i don't know just spice it up a bit and change it a bit all right so let's talk about the villains of season five who are they going to be so at the end of the season we got the teaser for there being two different villains number one is malafaic is how you roughly pronounce it it's Jean's brother he arrived and it was actually the monitor and that's very crucial the monitor actually got him out from wherever he was stuck he's a phantom to his people as the monitor said and so he's here for revenge on Jean Jones and in the comics he's a villain as well so you can expect some menace from him I think he will be a first part of the season villain heading towards crisis because Everything that the Monitor does is on purpose to lead towards preparing all these different Earths in the multiverse for the Anti-Monitor arriving in Crisis on Infinite Earths. So I don't see him actually being like the main villain for the whole season. And I believe that probably the main villain is going to be Leviathan as they teased also in the finale. So I reckon Leviathan will be in the background. And then we'll come to fruition a bit like Red Daughter, but I think they should start it much earlier because even though Red Daughter was absolutely freaking amazing, they did it way too late that a lot of people are sort of a bit sour on it because they waited so late. Although she was so good in the episode she was in, you know, it was just a bit too late because Agent Liberty wasn't that good overall. So... Yeah, I think they need to bring in Leviathan, and I think they'll bring him in, or this organization, in a bit earlier. And I think they will sort of go straight after Crisis, full on Leviathan. And in regards to what Leviathan is, in the comics, it's an organization. There's also a Legion member called Leviathan, but he's a hero. And there's a new comic book to do with Superman and Leviathan. So I'm guessing this is going to be the organization version from the Batman comics. And I think they're obviously going to make a twist on it being a Supergirl villain. And I think it's going to be one person controlling all. And I think it may have something to do with mind control. Because you saw the people in the finale and they all turn around. They're just normal civilians. They aren't planted there on purpose. So I feel like someone is controlling all of them. And it's not like Agent Liberty where everyone's sort of just ganging up. I think they're actually being controlled in some way. Because it's very mysterious. And I hope that we have Leviathan as a mystery villain. You see like a masked figure or something and it stays masked until we get a big reveal. Maybe it's say a version of a character from another Earth or something like that would be very interesting. Okay, so let's move on past the villains and talk about story next season. So obviously the villains play into the story, the suits play into the story and everything that was teased. But I think what the season did mainly wrong with season four was at the start of the season, the story was kind of weak. There wasn't really anything going on. It was more about politics. And I like the political side of it. But I felt like compared to season three, it really kind of didn't stand up in terms of story. Because if you remember back to the start of season three, we had rain. We had all of this sort of building up in the background. And we had the introduction of Samantha. But this season, all we really had was Agent Liberty, them getting riled up, and there's, like, arguments back and forth. And there wasn't much story behind it, and we didn't get the introduction of Red Daughter, it was just little teasers. There was nothing much going on if you actually look back at the first start of the season. So, I hope that next season, as they start off the season, I think season 4 did a great job in the back half. It had a lot more story, and it was super intriguing with Lex, with Red Daughter... And obviously the Agent Liberty stuff ending because that was more about politics. That wasn't about a real good story. It wasn't that much of a good story. It was interesting to see, you know, aliens versus humans. It's an interesting concept, but it's not a great story because we've seen that scattered throughout all the Supergirl seasons. 
So I do hope next season we have a really, really strong villain at the start that maybe is Malefaic, and then we go into Leviathan and it's sort of focused on story. And I think it will be very, very much so more like season three, which is my favorite season because I thought Rain was so good. All right, so let's talk about this last thing. So what's going to be happening in terms of Crisis, the 100th episode? Who's going to return and everything like that. So I really hope they bring back Lex Luthor for Crisis. They've definitely teased it in the comics. He plays a small role. He's more of an anti-hero because he wants to protect the multiverse. He wants to protect the Earth because without the Earth or the multiverse, you know, what can Lex Luthor do? He just dies. So, yeah, I hope he plays a role. I think he will play a role due to that ending scene. And in regards to the 100th episode and Crisis, I think... For Crisis, you bring back, you know, maybe just for cameos, uh, all these different members from Legion. You have Wynn returning for Crisis because it's the big crossover. And they said that Wynn's going to return next season. So what a better chance to do it than Crisis and bring, you know, his Legion friends. Because he's been in the future this whole season, supposedly. And he's been with mon Imra, and the whole lot in the future. So he's got all this knowledge, he comes back, he brings a few of the Legion members, they help fight in Crisis, because if you read Crisis, it's actually massive, and there is so many characters, so it would really make sense if you brought back the Legion for Crisis. So, yeah, get tweeting the Supergirl account, the Supergirl writers, being like, yo, we need the Legion back for Crisis, because it makes a lot of sense. And so the 100th episode, who's going to return? So, definitely. Like, if you look at Supergirl's past and the different characters that are not here anymore you would very much so be expecting a lot of big returns because if you see the flashes 100th episode you had zoom returning for scenes you had reverse flash for a lot of it you had Savitar returning and it was big but then you look at Arrow for its 100th episode it brought back basically all the villains in the past and it brought back the different characters in terms of holograms so I'd say the 100th episode for Supergirl next season, you've got to bring back Wynn, you've got to bring back mon -El, you've got to bring back Maggie, you've got to bring back Imra, maybe even someone like Maxwell Lord who we haven't seen since season 1, Cat Grant you have to bring back. There is no way that you can't bring those characters back because they were so big and I really do think that we're going to see the return of Wynn because they confirmed it and... I really do hope it goes forward. Also, I really do think we're going to see Cat Grant return because she was such a pivotal role. And also, Monel. I definitely think Monel should return. And I think with Chris obviously living with Melissa now permanently because they're going to get married, it makes sense. 100th episode, bring back all the characters. Uh, Chris is definitely going to be around, so there is, you know, a very high chance that he returns for at least 100th episode, maybe for Crisis with the other Legion members, including Wynn, and, you know, hopefully they stick around, but maybe it's just a cameo or two. So let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about all these theories? Do you think mon -El, Wynn, Cat Grant, Imra, and everyone, do you think they're going to return for 100th episode? Do you think who's going to return for Crisis? Is Lex going to be back? And in terms of villains, do you think Malfate is going to be the first half villain like I predicted? Or do you think it's going to be the other way and Leviathan will be first? And yeah, let me know to do with costumes. Do you think anyone needs an upgrade or not? Are you happy with the suits? So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like. That would mean so much to me. Subscribe. Turn on notifications if you're new. Also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at the DC TV Show to stay up to date with me. And... I will be at MCM London Comic Con tomorrow, so if you're there, please be sure to say hi, because I'm going to be there all day tomorrow. Stephen and Mel's there, Tyler Hoechlin, Emily Bet Ricards, and everyone, so super excited. So, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye.